Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. Give me wisdom of Solomon. 18. Because here's the thing. How did we get saved out of Egypt? You know a little bit about the, uh, the history, right? What happened in order to get delivered out of Egypt? He's too young for that, man. He's too young for that. Say it again. Okay, we were slaves in Egypt. I got him, bro. I got him, bro. I got him. Okay, we were enslaved in Egypt, right? What happened in order for us to get out of Egypt? Right, okay, so he destroyed Egypt in order for what? It, and, uh, exactly, so we can get saved up out of captivity. That's going to happen again. This is the last captivity that we're going to suffer through. This is the last kingdom. Hold on, I'm going to read this and I'm going to ask you a question. The book of wisdom of Solomon, chapter 18 and verse 7. Come on. So of thy people was accepted of the salvation of the righteous. So it says this has to be accepted. In order for you to get up out of here and to proclaim you an Israelite and keep God's laws, you must accept this fact, that in order to be saved, read, the salvation of the righteous. The salvation of the righteous. What's righteous? How are you righteous? Got to be perfect. How are you perfect? Ain't nobody perfect. Ain't nobody perfect. That's what, that's what we like to think today. That's an excuse. Our people think, oh, you can't get perfect. We can't be perfect. Only God perfect. So I don't got to do with God's command. Wisdom of Solomon again, and I'm going to go to righteous. The book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 18 and verse 7. Uh -huh. So of their people was accepted both the salvation of the righteous. Salvation of the righteous, read. And destruction of the enemy. And destruction of the enemy. Yes. Your enemies have to be destroyed in order for us to be delivered. Right. Right. That's what God's saying. So this is how we're going to be righteous. Give me that. How are we righteous? Read. You got it? Yep. The book of Deuteronomy. Chapter 6 and verse 25. Real. And it shall be our righteousness. This is how we're going to be righteous. Read. If we observe to do all these commandments before the Lord our God as He have commanded us. That's how we're righteous. By keeping God's laws. Give me Luke, right. Luke 1 and 3. Hold wisdom of Solomon. Luke 1 and 3. Or uh, 1 and 6. This is how we're righteous. This is what the Christian church haven't told us. Read. The book of Luke. Chapter 1 and verse 6. Read out. And they were both righteous before God. Read. Walking in all the commandments and ordinances of the Lord blameless. This is how they were righteous, by walking in God's laws. Blameless. Now go back to Wisdom of Solomon. Wisdom of Solomon. I'm going to read that again so you understand, and I'm going to get you a question. The book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 18 and verse 7. Mm -hmm. So of thy people was accepted both the salvation of the righteous. So you have to accept this. If you want to be saved, you must be righteous. And what is righteous? How are you righteous? Being perfect. How you being, how you perfect? We just went over it. What is righteousness? Salvation. No, no. Serving, how are you righteous? Serving God, the right God. Uh, oh, uh, follow the commandments Follow it, there you go, brother. Follow Following the commandments, the commandments of God. Of God yeah, right? right? That's how you're righteous. That's how we're going to get up out of here. Read. And destruction of the enemy. Read it over again. I'm going to read it all together. Come on. So of thy people was accepted both the salvation of the righteous uh -huh. and destruction of the enemy. So you can't get salvation without your enemies being destroyed. What? The enemies must be destroyed. Who are the enemies? The people who don't follow the commandments. Okay. That's one aspect. But who, who mainly? Give me Deuteronomy 28. Enemy, who are the enemies uh, to the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans? Outside of that? Yeah, who is that? White folks. Uh, white, uh, 
You said what? The white? Japanese? Uh, Arabs. Arabs? All the kingdoms and nations outside of the so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, who are the Israelites, are our enemies. Why are they our enemies? Read this. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 48. Uh -huh. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemy. It says, because we broke God's laws, we're going to serve our enemies. When do we serve our enemies? Long time ago? When? Uh, I don't know. Exactly. I was gonna make sure you get it. We've been we still in slavery. You got a job, right? Yeah. Okay, but we gotta have we gotta get a job to do what? To pay bills, right? Well, that's slavery. Gods don't pay pay bills. We gotta pay taxes. Right. This is modern day slavery. Right. They just give us a few crumbs called a paycheck. You listen to this? Read. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemy. Because we disobey God's laws and we continue to do that, we are going to serve our enemies in slavery, on the cotton fields, and on the work field today. Like the brother brought out earlier. Read. Right. Which the Lord shall send against thee. God sent them to us. He allowed it to happen because we rebellious. Read. And hunger, and hunger. If we want food, guess what we gotta serve? The so-called white man, the Arab man, the Chinese man. We gotta work. We gotta serve them. Read. And the thirst. If we want water, we don't own our own water companies, right? We don't. So we gotta go to the enemies. Read. And the nakedness. If we want clothes, we gotta serve the enemy. Read. And the want of all things. Whatever we wanna do. We wanna be born. We want a driver's license. We want to travel. Guess what? We got to serve our enemies. Yeah, read. Right. And he and the enemy, read, shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Who put a yoke of iron on our neck? The white man. When did that happen? In slavery, right? It was the, the Arabs, the sub Saharan slave trade. Says, you know that? Yep, the, the sub Saharan. Who had a hand in the sub Saharan slave trade? Oh, you know, okay. It was the so called Africans. The real Africans, not us, okay? The Hamites, which is the Africans, okay? The white man and the Arabs. The Africans are not our people. Say it again. Right, right, right. Listen, uh, give me Genesis 2 and 7. Here's the problem. Our people think we African. That's why we always claim in Egypt, Hotep, uh, Nuwabian. We claiming everything on Egypt, okay? But we not the same people. Right. We are greater than the Egyptians. Right. You mean them, them people that are uh, eating dirt right now? You think we come from them people? Hell no. Right. Right. We are not the same people. We may have the same complexion, but we are not the same people. Read the book of Genesis, chapter two and verse seven. The read first out. man, the first man, Adam. Read and the Lord God. For man of the dust of the ground. It says God formed man out of the dust of the ground. What color is the dust of the ground? What is the dust of the ground? Black. It's dirt. Right? Dirt. What color is dirt? Brown. Black. So guess what? The first man, the first men, women, guess what color they were? Black. That's right. Everybody was black. The original Chinese were black. The original, uh, everybody was black. Yes, question. I'm going to deal with your first one, but answer before you forget it. Oh, you said the original Chinese were black, right? Yes, everybody was. As long as everybody else was. Say it again. As long as everybody else was. Yes, other than the so-called white man. I'm going to show you why. Okay, so we got Genesis 2 and 7. The first man, right? Black. Now, through process of time and mixing and all that, now you got a lighter, a lighter hue, because guess what? The so-called white man raped this whole planet. Right. This whole planet when they conquered it. That's why you look at the Chinese, I'm getting off topic, but the Chinese, they're a little whiter now because Genghis, uh, Genghis Khan, which is a so-called white man, went through there and made babies and all that and mixed when they were over there. They were black. They weren't Israelites, but they were black. You understand? There's a difference. It's not about color, it's about bloodline. Right. Uh, read that and then give me numbers one. The book of Genesis, chapter 2 and verse 7. Uh -huh. 
and the Lord God for men of the dust of the ground. Okay, so the first man, we were black. Everybody was black, right? Give me uh, Genesis 25, 25. Now this is where we have a change in the, in the, in the bloodline. Where did the white man come? Where did, when did he come about? What happened? If everybody was black, okay? So what happened? Read. The book of Genesis, chapter 25 and verse 25. Mm -hmm. And the first came out red all over like an hairy garment. Okay, what color are white people? Red? <laughs> white? White? Hey, we say they're white. They're not white. White is pure. They're, they're exactly. They pink. Right. They're pink. They're red. Right. Pink is just a hue of red. Right. So we call them rednecks in the south. Right. Right. So the Bible says the first kid that came out of uh, was it Isaac and Rebecca, right? Came out red and hairy. Who on earth right now is red and hairy? The white man. Right. Red and hairy. The caveman. That's the original caveman. Read. And the first came out red all over, like an hairy garment. And what did they call him? And they called his name Esau. So the so-called white race, they're Edomites, or right. Esau. That's what God calls them. Yes, right. Esau. They're not uh, Caucasian. Well, they are because they come from the Caucasus Mountains in right. Georgia, Russia, when they were cavemen. Because if you don't shave, if they don't shave, what happens? If they don't, if the white man don't shave, what happens? They get mad hairy, right? right? That's what the Bible's saying. Read. <laughs> and after that, after Esau came out, came his brother out. Came his brother out. Read. And his hand took hold on Esau's heel. So it says his brother came out and took hold of Esau's heel. Read. And his name was called Jacob. And his name was called Jacob, which is our forefather. So. They didn't say Jacob's color, right? Why not? He was the same as everybody else, black. Right, right. So they said the so-called white man was a red man. That's who. We, that's where he come from. Everybody else on the earth was black. You understand so far, right? Yeah. You get it? You get it, sis? Okay, question. So, so what color if everybody else was black, what is the purpose of that? Yeah, say it again. What if color everybody else was black, what is the purpose of that red man? Read it again. <clears throat> And the first came out red all over, like an hairy garment. Uh -huh. And they called his name Esau. Uh -huh. And after that came his brother out, and his head took hold on Esau's heel. Right, so we, Jacob, the, so the Israelites, we held Esau's heel when we came out. Esau came first, we came second, right? That is a, a prophetical action, what happened, okay? I'm going to get it. I'm not gonna go too deep. I'm gonna go back to the Africans thing. All right. Give me a second Ezra real quick. Second, you know what I want? Uh, about Esau gathering. Yes. Yes. The reason why Esau had to come out, he was gonna be our enemy. That's why. Oh, damn. Go back to Genesis, because in Genesis it says, while we were in the womb. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna let the Bible speak. It says, why we were in the womb, because we were in the same womb as the Esau. Right. Read the book of Genesis. Chapter 25 and verse 22, 21. And Isaac entreated the Lord for his wife Read. because she was barren. Read. And the Lord was entreated of him, and Rebekah his wife conceived. They had kids, read. And the children struggled together within her. There was a struggle within her womb because there was twins in there, right? But they fought. Read. And she said, if it be so, why am I thought? If you're blessing me with children, why am I having, why are they fighting in my womb? Who hates us today the most? The white man. Right. The white man. Yes, Why right. do you keep getting, we getting shot down? My brother just got executed. But there's a white man doing the worst things. There was a, a brother. He was innocent and got executed for something he didn't even do. And there was brothers that said, I did this. Somebody said, I did it. I did it. And they still had lynched him, but still killed the brother the other day. But there's a so-called white man who does the same thing, well, worse, and actually kills Three, uh, four, three or four kids, and he's walking free on probation. How is that? How does that make any sense? Read. And she went to inquire of the Lord, uh -huh. and the Lord said unto her, uh -huh. Two nations are in thy womb. He, he said, Two nations are within thy womb. Two nations, not the same people. Two nations, so-called Edomites, the white people, 
and the, and the, uh, the so-called Israel, the Israelites, which are the blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans. Two different nations, right? Read. And two manner of people uh -huh. shall be separated from thy vow. It says two manner of people shall be separated. Our people like to bring everybody together. We love to love the white man, the, the white image of Christ, which is not the real image. Right. We love white people. That's why they put that white image up. That's why we hate ourselves and love white people. But God said that I, I separated y'all from the beginning. Y'all supposed to be separate. Right. Y'all ain't the same people. Read. And the one people shall be stronger than the other people. It says one people shall be stronger than the other people. Who is supposed to be stronger than the other people? Uh, Us. Us. Right. We are stronger than the Edomites. That's right. Read. And the elder shall serve the younger. It says the elder, the first one that comes out, is going to serve the second one that comes out. Who yeah. came out first? Esau. Which means what? Is he serving us right now? Is he serving us right now? Because Esau came out first, right? So is he serving us right now? Is the white man serving us? How? No, 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 man. No. Are they serving us? Are they in slavery right now? No. No. Did they ever pay for the slavery that they put us through? No. So what is it talking about? It's talking about future prophecy. Right. It says, in the end, the elder, which is Esau, is going to serve my people, the Israelites. We're going to have them in slavery in the kingdom to come. Y'all understand? I'm going, I'm going a little deep. Pass y'all understand. I want to make sure y'all get it, though. There's a life after this. Hold on. Read. And the elder shall serve the younger. Uh -huh. And when her days to Okay, be now go to uh, Ezra. Now this is going to bear witness with what just happened. That's why Esau came out first, Jacob came out second. Okay? Esau is going to serve us in the end. This captivity is going to be over. They're going to pay for everything that they did to us. Right. Don't y'all want payback? Y'all want payback, right? You want payback? You want sure? You want revenge, right? This is how we're going to get revenge. We ain't revenging nothing right now. Our people want to take up guns and stuff. Who owned the guns? Them. That's why the Black Panther movement ain't going to do nothing. Right. Because we can't control that. The only thing that we can do is keep God's laws and let Christ handle it. That's right. Read. The book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 6 and verse 7. Read it out. Then answered I and said, Come on. What shall be the parting asunder of the time? Uh, when is the end of time? Read. Or when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that followeth? It says, when is going to be the end of Esau and the beginning of it that followeth? Meaning Jacob, right. Israelites. Read. And he said unto me, from Abraham unto Isaac, Read. when Jacob and Esau were born of him. When they were born, you remember what happened when they were born, right? Okay, read. Jacob's hand held first the heel of Esau. Jacob's hand held Esau's heel, right? Read. For Esau is the end of the world. Read it again. For Esau is the end of the world. It says Esau, the so-called white man, is the end of the world. Meaning this is their last captivity. Right. They ain't ruling after this. It's a wrap. Read. And Jacob. And who? Jacob. Who's Jacob? Us is the beginning of it that following. We are the beginning That's right. of the next kingdom to come. It's our kingdom. And we're going to rule forever. That's and ever, right. ever. Right. And we ain't never going back into captivity. Right. Right. But what do we have to do in order to get there? Because this sounds all nice. Make your teeth white. Right. Get your butterflies. But what do we got to do? You got a question? Go ahead. After reading that verse, uh, uh -huh. are you talking literally, or are you yeah, talking like it's going to happen on earth? Yes. Or are you talking like somewhere else? No, this going to happen on earth. Yeah. This is it's talking about earth. Yeah. This is talking about us. That's right. I just heard before, like 10, 15 minutes ago. Oh, I just heard 10, 15 minutes ago that you said that uh, the whole world is going to be a nuclear war, right? Yes. War, right? So, so if that happens, how how you gonna be here? Oh, give me um give me Matthew. How's it gonna be here? Right. Guess what? You heard of, um because guess what? When that nuclear bombs drop, everything's gonna get destroyed on this planet, right? The earth is gonna stand up. Okay, the, the earth ain't getting destroyed completely. 
right, obliterated. That's what all people like to say. There's a planet that's going to hit, the, the meteor going to hit the earth, and the earth going to be exploded. Nah. The kingdom is going to be on the earth. Right. right. It's going to be remade after the bombs drop. You understand? He's just going to wipe it all clean and start over. But guess who's going to build the kingdom? Huh? Esau. Right. That's why we need slaves. Right. To build the kingdom. Right. Because it's going to be destroyed. Right? And we're going to get new bodies too. Guess what? These bodies here, we ain't going to have these bodies. We're going to have uh, godly bodies. Right. Read. Uh, Matthew 24 and verse 6. Yes. Read it out. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. I'm sorry, uh, the prayer. Give me the prayer. Okay. Matthew 6? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Give me the prayer. You say, well, I thought the earth was going to be destroyed by nuclear destruction. Right? Read this. The book of Matthew. Chapter 6 and verse 9. Now, we used to say this prayer when we were kids, right? Our Father, who art in heaven, right? Read. After this manner, therefore, pray ye, our Father, which art in heaven. Read. Hallowed be thy name. It says, Holy be thy name, which is God's laws, this word. Read. Right. Thy kingdom come. It says, Thy kingdom will come and be established. Read. Thy will be done. Thy will, which is in this Bible, is going to be done. In earth. In where? In earth. In the sky. In earth. In earth. On the earth. God will establish what? Thy Listen. kingdom come. Uh -huh. Thy will be done in earth uh -huh. as it is in heaven. So the way it look up there is going to look the same down here. Right. Right. The kingdom is going to be here. That's, this is going to be our kingdom. We're going to rule this planet right. like it was supposed to be. Right. Give me Acts 1. Give me Acts 1, and I'm going to show y'all things y'all got to do. Like I said, this sounds good, but if y'all walk up out of here and don't do nothing with it, y'all going to die with everybody else. Read. The book of Acts, chapter 1 and verse 6. Bring it out. When they were therefore come together. Now, when the disciples and Jesus were come together, they had a question for Christ. Read. They asked of him, saying, Lord, will thou at this time restore again the kingdom to Israel? He says, are you going to restore the kingdom? Right now, like, uh, is it coming right now? But they just said, are you going to restore it to Israel? What does restore mean? To reveal. Man. Say it again? To reveal. Okay, to reveal, what else? Sis, what do you think? To restore. To put back. To, to, back. Add add to put back, to get back, which means what? We had the kingdom before. Right. The kingdom was ours before. Right. We ruled it before. Who but what happened? Why? Why? Because we disobeyed God's law. Right, we right, broke his right. commandments. So they're, so they're asking you and telling you already that the kingdom is for the Israelites. When are we getting it back? Because you said we're going to get it back. So when are we going to get it back? Read it again. The book of Acts, chapter 1 and verse 6. Uh -huh. When they therefore will come together, they asked of him, saying, Lord, wilt thou at this time restore again the kingdom to Israel? Uh -huh. Read. And he said unto them, and it's not for you to know. It ain't it, it ain't for you to know. That's what? That's why it says he comes as a thief in the night, right? You know what? If our people knew when he was coming back, we would take our sweet time. And then, oh, he's coming back this date. Okay, I got to get myself right. Oh, uh, exactly, right? That's why he said he's going to come like a thief in the night. Boom! The sky going to crack. And you're going to see his angels come down. Right. And destroy this place. But he's going to take us up before this destruction comes. For those that keep God's laws. Right. Give me um Isaiah, and then I want Acts 3. Isaiah 61. Because I'm telling you, in order for us to have a kingdom, we ain't going to build it. We got to have slaves to build it for us. Right. All the riches that they stole from us, we're going to get it back. Our gates are going to be open so they can come give us the, the gold that they stole. Read the book of Isaiah, chapter 60 and verse 10. Come on. And the sons of strangers shall build up thy wall. It says the sons of strangers, the other nations shall do what? Build up thy wall. They're going to build our walls. Right. Read. And their kings shall minister unto thee. And their kings are going to serve us. All these presidents, all the, the high ranking of their nations, they're going to serve us in the kingdom to come. That's Read. Right. For in my wrath I smoke thee, mm. but in my favor have I had mercy on thee? Y'all don't understand that this is still mercy that we're getting. Right. We're still getting mercy. 
us being alive right now, even through all the stuff that we went through as a people. We deserved it. But it's still mercy. Right. So you don't think that God's going to give them worse? They're going to get way worse. They ain't getting away with it. That's why they say, oh, I'm just going to die and I'll be all right. I ain't going to serve. No, they're going to they gonna serve. Right. They're going to be slaves forever. Right. Right. Y'all understand? Give me all. Yes. Eventually, they're going to be wiped out of the planet. Absolutely. But we can't worry about that right now. That, that's, the, that's the deep stuff. We got we to gotta get there, right? So how are we going to get there? There you go. Give me Acts 3. I'm going to bring you all back to reality for a second. We took a little light, nice ride. Okay. Uh, come on. The book of Acts, chapter 3, and verse 19. Read it out. Repent, ye therefore, and be converted. Repent and be converted. We read in, in uh, Kings, to bethink yourself. You must remember that you're an Israelite and keep God's laws, right? Repent and be converted. What converts us? The law? What changes a hoe into a housewife? What changes a drunk to a, a, a alcohol-free brother? Say again, the most high? The fear of the Lord, which is the keeping God's commandments. All right, y'all, give me a... Uh, because he just said something in the beginning. Nobody can be perfect, right? No, it's still. Can we be perfect? Nobody we can be perfect? Okay. How we be perfect? Read. The book of Psalms, chapter 19 and verse 7. Come on. The law of the Lord is perfect. It says God's laws are perfect. Doing what? Converting the soul. God's laws converts your soul. Right. That's what changes you. So he said, yes, you can be perfect. The perfection of the Lord is different from the perfection of the world. God says you can be perfect by keeping my laws. You're going to mess up? Yeah. But you better make a conscious effort every day to keep my commandments. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission Minor murmuring, omitting and missing the mark Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark We on Paul's mission We out on the road Purple and gold From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are our men repented at heart the scriptures is proof, I, you, I, see, we deliver the truth.